guys welcome back to my channel as you saw from this video the title of the video we're doing a um a custom design my little brother had this jacket that he wanted um to have design i'm told i told him i'm cool with it I, I got you i can design it um he wanted a fire skull and i was like okay i'll put my own spin to it because we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix it up we're gonna get it right let's get straight to the video all right, y'all. So the reason y'all see Jaden, the name Jaden on it, is because my brother had already started doing it like a couple of weeks or months after he said I could do it for him. He asked me to cover it up and fix it. So that's what I'm doing now. I start using this um, masking tape to get it, take all the extra dust off. Okay, so let's paint. Da, 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 yes. So here you see me starting off painting. I'm using the Angelus regular white paint with the GAC 900. I try my best to get in the letters and the, the marker, but it's kind of hard. It kind of smears, but it's good because I like the outcome of the color. So even though he used some crazy art marker or something like that, I don't know. I still got the effect that I was looking for, which is good. So I know y'all see how I have, you see how the pink is like, the red is going like into the the paint. It brought out so much more of the red and you see how I started painting on the side and it spread. But it's okay because I like that effect for the flames as well as like the shadowing part of what I have more to come. So yeah. So after I do one layer of paint for the, um, the white and the GAC 900, I go and I layer and keep layering. But I'm also using my blow dryer as like my Heat. So it's kind of like paint and then dry and then paint and dry. That's the pattern that I had going on. So I started out with Angelus yellow paint and I started painting like the around the skull's head. Um, where that J is going to be, it's going to be fire. It's like a fire part. Um, it's going to be flames by that. I kind of just went and I did it like that to give it more of a yellow hue to it if you say this is where i started painting using angela's black paint and dark bone gray for the eyes i started using angela's orange paint and going around with the school i was using orange and um, a champagne brown and yellow and it was red and white, I believe, for the skull's head. And that's the color I used the most. I also used black here and there. When it comes to the art style, to be honest, I like to give it that like realistic look, you feel me? Where it's just more of like, you see, you kind of can see the strokes of the paint and all that stuff. Here you see the dark, um, the black line right there. That's just the shadow that I'm going for right there when it comes to the flames and all that stuff. I'm starting on the flames right now. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. The flames, I feel like were the hardest part out of all of it. To be honest because um i don't know i feel like i just wanted i tried to get it as realistic as possible i think that's what made it the hardest and then like making sure that the strokes are right you feel me that's i think that was the hardest part about the school so here i am i'm um, working on the burns, like a burns of a jacket as if something like burnt, you feel me? As if the skull was burning the jacket, you know? So now I'm going in with my water and stain repellent so that the design will last longer on the jacket. I think it looks pretty dope. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments what y'all think. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching.